Rebels, better to say, take one. I originally heard about this amazing story of this woman soldier of the Civil War, a Latina American. It sounded fictional. That's what everyone said. Years later, I came across a series of articles by a senior military archivist at the National Archives. And I called the author up and said, you write about Loretta Velasquez as if she's a real person. I thought she was fictionalized. And they said, next time you're in Washington, D.C., come and visit me. I did. And Deanne Blanton started pulling out all these documents about Loretta. I thought, my god, why do people think she's a hoax? What I found about why she's been erased is what led me to take this journey. It's been 12 years. She had been systematically erased. The memoir she wrote during Reconstruction, many years after the American Civil War, went against the grain. She criticized the corruption of wartime society. She put the lie to the myth of that gone with the wind south that never really existed and that is such a romance beloved by so many still today. The American Civil War story is one of the first, if not one of the few times in history where the losers have gotten almost an equal chance to write the history. That doesn't happen. The winners, history is written from the winners but that's not really the case with the American Civil War, depending on where you are in the country. Loretta refused to be bound by the boxes of gender or color. By the end of her life, she is speaking out against slavery. She's speaking for Cuban independence. The story of this unlikely Confederate woman is really the story of American growth in consciousness. It is the story of what we have all become, that we have come to understand that it is our differences that make us so unique and powerful as a nation.